seemed like for so many games, you guys were banking on the team playing better when Devontae would return. How important was it just from a morale standpoint to get a victory in his first game back? Well, it's nice that I'm out there. Obviously, uh, it's not just the numbers he puts up, it's just his presence. We know he's got a good player, he's confident, he's a leader. And uh, it showed up many, many times during the course of the game and timeouts, huddles on the court, uh, halftime in the locker room. Just he's, uh, he's one of those guys that just keeps the team together. And so just having him on the court, I think, gives us a kind of, kind of a calming effect as a team. Ken, after the Oregon game, how much did you emphasize rebounding and how much did you see that play out tonight? Well, we talked about it a few times. We showed video. I think our guys did a great job on the glass, especially especially DJ. But uh, a number of our guys did a really good job rebounding, which we, we really needed. What do you think a, a big rivalry win like this can do for a team at the turning point in conference play? Well, I'm hoping good things, obviously. Uh, that's a good team. Washington's a very good ball club. I think they were in third place, tied for third tonight going into the game. and uh, They had a great game plan. They pushed it early. They had a lot of points on us in transition, which, which was disappointing. But uh, they're really, really good in transition. And then C.J. Wilcox, we thought we had a pretty good game plan to, to slow him down. But uh, not only is he a great player, they run really good stuff to get him the ball. And he's, he's hard to guard because they do it as a team to get him open. And he's open. He's a prolific shooter. He reminds me a lot of, uh, of Clay Thompson. Uh, Williams Goss, their freshman point guard with six turnovers. Did you, was it part of the game plan to pressure him a little more? No, no, not really. It was, it was to try to try to contain him and Andrew Andrews. They're both really good guards who can create, drive it, create for themselves in the paint, get the basket, and yet uh, they're also good at creating shots for other guys. So, you know, uh, Nigel just didn't have a great game having six turnovers, but he's an awesome player. 20 and 18 for DJ. Can you talk about the game he had today? Yeah, it's nice to see because he's he's really put in a lot of work, and it's his senior year. Um, speaking of, I wish Will Diorio would have got any more minutes last year in this game. He had get three threes and uh, did an outstanding job for us. And tonight we just weren't able to get him in the game enough. But um, again, those seniors, uh, there's something to be said about being a senior. And the last time going through conference, and this is DJ's, this is his time, and he's taking advantage of it. Right when it seemed like they were maybe starting to hit a groove and were, were distancing themselves a bit, you guys went on that huge run. What, what was the catalyst for that? It was following a timeout. Was there anything changed? Well, I don't think it was because of the timeout or anything said in the timeout. I felt like we played good, solid defense, and on offense, we took care of the ball. For the game, we had five turnovers, and... Uh, that's very impressive against a team like Washington. Did you get the sense that just Lacey's presence in the lineup kind of changed things offensively or opened things up for other guys? Yeah, a guy like that can be a, a real decoy you know, because they have to focus on him. They know what he's capable of doing. And so sometimes that opens up shots and opportunities for other guys. Even in the first half when he wasn't scoring, do you, do you feel like that impact was being felt? Oh, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, we had a whopping 25 points at half. So 50, that's 50, that's more than our average. In the second half, we went to 47, so. Ken, you know, talk a little bit about Q. I think he's had 14 points or more in eight of his last 11 games. It seems like he's getting really comfortable in this lineup. Well, he is, but he's getting his shots. He had 12 shots tonight uh, from the field. And, uh, you know, really, he should have scored more. But yeah, we're, we're going to him, and he's a good scorer. He's, he's a guy that we think can produce points. Uh, but with the amount of shots he had tonight and free throws, I really thought he'd score more than 15. But he'll get there. He'll get there where he's more consistent. And, and he's sort of a young guy. Obviously, he's a young guy, but he sat out for a while, too. And this is sort of his first you know, dealing with, with a UW 32 type of game. How, how do you think he sort of responded emotionally to something like that? I, I think uh, you know, Q is a real uh, poised young man. He doesn't, you'll never see him get excited about anything. And so. During the course of the game, I think he plays with really good poise. And, and uh, when things aren't going well, you don't see him get down. And, and when things are going great, you don't see him sky high jumping and you know, pumping his chest out or doing anything like that. So he's a, he's a freshman. 
that uh, plays with a lot of composure. And they only had uh, four bench points, uh, you know, the two dunks from Kemp, I think. Um, you know, you guys had 18, uh, obviously something where you want to concentrate or at least keep it limited to what their starters were able to do. That wasn't part of the game plan. I think it just happened that way. I think, I think the guys that they have coming off the bench are good players. Uh, they just didn't happen to score tonight. But, um, but their starters sure scored a lot. <laughs> they've, they've got a lot of weapons out there. And they run some good stuff. They're hard to guard. Uh, 33 minutes for Devontae. Hey, heading into this game, did you think he'd be able to give you that much? No, and, and I, pro I probably shouldn't have played him that many minutes. There were times where uh, I probably should have had Dexter in there a little bit more, even though Dexter wasn't producing points. Dexter is 6'6", six, six, long, and uh, even though CJ lit it up, CJ's a great player. I think uh, I think Dexter did some good things on defense. Uh, it, it looked like he was kind of needing to stretch the area, but at halftime, was there ever a time when you felt like you needed to manufacture rest for him or, or call timeout just so he could stay out there? For Devontae? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. There was a couple times we called timeout just to give him a breather. Ken, you talked a little bit this week uh, in, in the news conference about the energy of the building. You know, how did you think the energy was in the building today? I thought it was good. I mean, I've seen it better, but I've seen it worse. Uh, all in all, it was uh, better than I think most games this year. Do you think a, a, a win in a rivalry game like this can kind of bring out the fans and replicate that energy next game? Yeah, I think it can. It has a uh, chance to do that, but we've got to go win some games on the road. It can't just be one win over Washington. And fans are going to come out and support us. We need to be able to go on the road and uh, go to Utah and Colorado next and uh, play well and, and win some games. Maybe score some points. <laughs> That'd be a good start. 49 points a game is uh, not going to bring too many people out. I don't really know if anything did. Maybe when I look at the video, I'll see some things. But what I liked about it was uh, we did a better job of getting back on defense and tr transition D, and we took the we took care of the ball on offense. So we had opportunities to score or at least to shoot. When when we turn it over in games like this, we're just kind of shooting ourselves in the foot. And, and during that stretch, we didn't do that. And uh, in these past two weeks, have, have you seen Shelton play better uh, last week? He had 24. And yeah, he's been playing good ball. You know, tonight's game was similar to the games that uh, that he had last week against the Oregon school. He, he's playing well, and being a senior, uh, it, it's great to see because you throw a lot of time and effort into it. He's he's really working hard, so it's nice to see him get rewarded with. Good